The following graduates will be entering the U.S. military service. Oscar Davila Contreras to the U.S. Marines. Hector Hompier Nugra Noguera to the U.S. Marines. Anthony Montaleza to the U.S. Army slash reserves. Deborah Pucha to the U.S. Army. Danny Sandoval Vivar to the U.S. Army. Entering the Military Academy at West Point, Chayton K. Joshi and Lane Sidney Peterson. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dennis Vincent, Principal of Heights Sound High School. On behalf of the administration, faculty, staff, and students of the East Windsor Regional School District, I am both pleased and proud to welcome you to the 107th Annual Commencement Ceremony, honoring Heights Sounds High School Class of 2022. Out of respect for the ceremony, we ask you to turn off your cell phones and electrical, electric devices. I'd like to welcome the class president, Perry Luther. We would like to recognize the following members of our EWRSD administration. Representing the Board of Education, President, Mr. Robert Laverty. Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Mark Daniels. Assistant Superintendents, Dr. Aaron Servillo and Ms. Sandy Small. Central Office Administrators, Mr. Paul Todd and Mr. David Rowe. District Supervisors, Ms. Marie Griffin, Mr. Robert Hamm, Ms. Kimberly Cruz Garcia, Ms. Lauren O'Brien, Ms. Brittany Santucci, Ms. Nicole Tomasello, Mr. Mark Beckman, and Mr. Michael Zapicki. Welcome Assistant Principals. Ninth grade, Mr. Germain Blunt. 10th grade, Mr. John Perillo. 11th grade, Mrs. Jennifer Riggi. 12th grade assistant principal and athletic director, Mr. Michael Berger. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of the Heightstown High School Senior Class of 2022, led by Senior Class Advisors, Ms. Chelsea Daly and Ms. Anessa Vaccaro.
and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of the Heights Sound High School Class of 2022, led by senior class advisors, Ms. Chelsea Daly and Ms. Anessa Vaccaro. The president of the Class of 2022, Maria Belen Torres Alvarez. The vice presidents of Class of 2022, Sydney Claire Eber, Anna Sophia Mervica, Joseph Peter Lenzo, and Lara Elizabeth Capel. The 2022 Senior Student Council Officers, Directors, George J. Meta and Daniel H. Sassone. Student Board of Ed and Policy Liaison, Gabrielle Mackenzie Strepic, Anissa Trisha Singh. Kate and Joshi will now lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. stand for the remainder of the class of 2022.
Chayton Joshi will now lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please welcome Chief of Staff Henry Schwartzstein for the West Point appointment presentation. Thank you for inviting me here to present Lane and Chechen their West Point appointments. As you heard, my name is Henry Schwartzstein. I'm a 1971 graduate of the United States Military Academy. I want to take a minute to explain why I think it's important that I am here and why I believe these appointments are worthy of your attention. For myself and for my classmates, I can tell you that we believe much of our success in life is due to the lessons that we learned and the character traits that were honed on the banks of the Hudson. Because of these experiences, I am paying it forward, helping other students and young people achieve their goals. I believe it's important for you to be aware that Lane and Chechen and their classmates will be the future leaders of our country. In attempting to make that easier for you to see, I'm going to briefly discuss some of my classmates and friends like Jack Reed, who is a senator from Rhode Island and head of the Senate Armed Services Committee. Frank Kendall, who was Secretary of the Air Force and under President Obama, who is the second Secretary of Defense for Technology and Logistics. And Del Daly, who was a three-star general, head of Special Operations and ambassador under President Obama for counterterrorism. <clears throat> so today, Lane and Chechen stand ready to follow in our footsteps to embark and a lifetime of service to the United States Army as a commissioned officer and future leaders of our country. To attend West Point, they not only had to pass rigorous academic standards like all of you did, but they also had to pass a rigorous medical exam and a PT test, consisting of five events, three of which were pull-ups, push-ups, and a mile run. And by the way, the averages for women were two, and the averages for men were nine pull-ups. Today, the Department of Defense estimates that 70% of all 18 to 22 year olds cannot pass the medical, academic, or physical standards to enter the military. Going through this process alone shows the grit and determination which will stand them in good stead for the challenges ahead in boxing. And yes, all women have to take boxing. Survival swimming, which Lane will have no problem with. The endure obstacle course and spending four summers in the field. Many do not realize that West Point is one of the top academic institutions in the country today, on par with Princeton, Harvard, Yale, MIT, and Stanford. The class of 2022 had four Rhodes Scholars, all of them women, three Marshall Scholars, more than any Ivy League college, six cadets won National Science Foundation fellowships, five won Fulbright scholarships, seven Draper and Lincoln Land scholarships, and 13 students are going on to medical school. I have high expectations that Lane and Chechen will follow in their footsteps for four years from now. I expect them to earn one of those scholarships. They are taking the first steps on a 47-month odyssey, which will mold, develop, and change them from the first challenging day, our day. They will be intentionally stressed emotionally, mentally, and physically. All new cadets will be introduced into the fiery forge, which the goal is to break them down before building them back up into mature soldiers. They will be judged on one principle only. Can you get the job done? Their character will also be forged. They will follow, live by, and require others to follow the honor code. A cadet will not lie, cheat, or steal, or tolerate those who do. They will incorporate the following motto into their souls. Make us choose the harder right rather than the easier wrong. They will learn that failure, failure will make you stronger. They will learn that going outside your comfort zone helps you grow. And by the way, everything in the 47th month experiences will push them out of their comfort zone. They will learn the only thing that matters is the size of your heart. They will learn life is not fair and to overcome adversity. 
They will learn character is relevant to everything you do. Grit makes the difference in everything and never quit. They follow in the footsteps of those brave patriots who heard the call and volunteered to take up arms in the revolution to win our independence. They follow in the footsteps of those that heard the call and volunteered to fight to preserve the Union and destroy the crime of slavery. They follow in the footsteps of those who defeated the evil of Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan. They follow in the footsteps of those who volunteered and answered the call after 9-11. And those today who are deployed around the world upholding the rights of Americans and assisting other nations in staying free. We continue to live in a dangerous world. Few today are willing to answer the call. Less than one half of 1% of Americans serve so others don't have to. It is a privilege and honor for me to be here and see Lane and Chechen taking the first steps on their journey. I'm going to end by briefly quoting from Secretary of Defense Mattis' speech to the graduating class of 2017. You drive home a salient truth that free men and women will volunteer to fight ethically and fiercely to defend our experiment that we call America. For those privileged to wear the cloth of our nation to serve in the United States Army, you stand the ramparts, unapologetic, apolitical, defending our experiment in self-government. You hold the line. You hold the line faithful to duty, confronting our nation's foes with implacable will, knowing that if there's a hill to climb, waiting won't make it smaller. You hold the line true to honor, living by a moral code, regardless of who is watching, knowing that honor is what we give ourselves for life of meaning. You hold the line loyal to country and constitution, defending our fundamental freedoms, knowing that from your challenging years here on the Hudson that loyalty only counts when there are husband reasons not to be. <clears throat> if you wish to be a credit to your nation, you must carry West Point's ethos everywhere you go and practice every day the integrity that builds your character. <clears throat> when destiny taps you on the shoulder and thrusts you into situations that's tough beyond words, when you're sick and you've been three days without sleep, when you've lost some of your beloved troops, and the veneer of civilization wears thin. By having lived a disciplined life, you will be able to reach inside and find the strength your country is counting on. You are privileged to be embarking on this journey. You will learn many things about yourself that others will never know. You are a US soldier. You hold the line. So fight for our ideals and sacred things and sight in others, respect and love for our country and our fellow Americans and leave this country greater and more beautiful than you inherited. For that is the duty of every generation. So on behalf of the President of the United States, present your appointments to the United States Military Academy. Please direct your attention to the Heightstown High School Choir singing of the National Anthem. seated.
Our musical selection is The Human Heart by Stephen Flattery, recorded by the Heightstown High School Choir under the direction of our choir director, Miss Mackenzie Smith. Please welcome board member, Mr. Ram K. Ramachandran. Can I take this off? Yes. Good morning, Heightstown. Good morning. On behalf of the board, I welcome Superintendent Daniels, 
principal Winston Heightstone High School faculty and staff, and most importantly, the graduates of the class of 2022. I also want to welcome the families of the graduates, moms and dads, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and siblings. They are your biggest fans. Give them a round of applause. My name is Ram Ramachandran, and I've had the honor of serving in the Board of Education for the last six years. But my more important role is that of a dad. Dad for Ananya Ramachandran, who is an alum of uh, Heightstown High School, and Abhiram Ramachandran, who is among the graduates here. The class of 2022 has had an amazing year. This class, whose last normal high school year was as freshmen, spent both their sophomore and junior years living through a major historic event. But when they came back for their senior year, boy, they came back with a bang. The class of 2022 achieved so many milestone accomplishments in spite of unique obstacles in, this, in those two crucial years. And it makes my heart glow with pride. This year, whether you competed in a sport, performed on the stage like the students of HHS Saath, represented your school at an event like Team Mercury at the Worlds in Houston, or even just tried something new, you did so without the years of experience students before you had. And you excelled. The record of, of incredible involvement and achievement shows that your class has the ability to be resilient, to not miss a beat, to move forward and take the world by storm in spite of the challenges and in interruptions. The lesson that your class has shown us all is that excellence is possible in every circumstance. And I encourage you to use that realization even after high school. Whether you're serving your country, entering the workforce, or going to college, remember to have as much fun as you possibly can. Do the thing you've always dreamed to do. Say yes to the opportunity. Get involved. Show up. Don't let your circumstances dis dictate your journey. And don't wait for that perfect moment to begin something. Because we never know what tomorrow will bring. But I do know that the power to excel is within all of you. And that this is just the beginning. Thank you and congrats again to the Heightstown High School School Class of 2022. I would now like to introduce Mr. Dennis Vinson, Principal of Heightstown High School. Good morning and congratulations again to the Heightstown High School Class of 2022. Next year I'll try to get the, the temperature a little warmer, so bear with me. Parents, guardians, family, friends, colleagues, and students. It is an honor to welcome you to the graduation of the class of 2022. It has been my privilege to get to know this extraordinary group of young people over the past four years, and I'm excited to celebrate them here today. Let me first start with a few thank yous to those who not only made this wonderful graduation ceremony possible, but to all who are here and who have had a hand in supporting this class and helping them achieve an important milestone in their lives. First, I'd like to thank our superintendent of schools, Mr. Daniels. If you attended the awards the other night, I made a mistake, and Mr. Daniels is quick to point out my mistakes. I forgot to give Mr. Daniels a flower. Thanks. I want to thank our Central Office Administration, the Board of Education, 612 Supervisors, and members of my dedicated administrative team. Equally important are the teachers here at Heightstown High School and throughout the district who supported the learning 
and grow for these fine young people. Their coaches, their advisors, our security teams, our custodians, and our wonderful secretaries. Thank you for your time, dedication, and service to the class of 2022. I also need to give a special shout out to our first year assistant principal, athletic director of the senior class, Mr. Berger. Thank you for your work this year, Mr. Berger. Your task was to get these students to today, and you accomplished it. Thank you for your efforts. The final member of my team I need to publicly recognize is my secretary, Ms. Sud, for keeping me on track, keeping me focused, and making sure I got my work done. I especially like all the gentle reminders. Thank you, Ms. Sud. Today, 389 students graduate high school, but in reality, every one of their parents are also graduating today. I would like to thank the parents and guardians of the class of 2022. Thank you for being a supportive partner in your child's education at Heights Sound High School. No question, the positive environment and involvement from your community and the assistance from your parents who go above and beyond to benefit not only their own children, but the school and the student body as a whole is what makes Heights Sound High School a very special place. There are countless parents who have given their time and talents. And although there is no time to publicly thank each of you, I just want you to know how grateful I am for your support. I do want to take a note of a few special people that go beyond the support, not only the class of 2022, all our students. Mr. Steven Deutsch. Thank you for coming out to countless events, capturing the moments with your camera that this class and their family members can treasure forever. To all the parents who spent endless hours planning and pulling off the post-prom, the kids had a blast, and you gave a, the high school a memory to cherish forever. From Ed Hirschman and the PTO volunteers, to parent advisors, clubs, presidents of our athletics, our arts, and our other extracurricular programs, your gracious giving of time is one of the many reasons I'm proud to say Heights Sound High School is a high-achieving school with a soul. You make my job easier and our school community more inclusive, welcoming, and a fun environment. Thank you for all that you do. And now to the class of 2022. A class with great and grace that showed up for each other and made the most of their time at Heights Sound High School. And we know how much their time at the high school was far from normal. In fact, the only so-called normal year of high school for this class was their freshman year. It feels like yesterday that I was meeting with the class at the beginning of the school year during a grade level meeting. I remember that day that I challenged them to make the most of their four years and to leave their mark on Heights Sound High School with a simple challenge. What will be your legacy? Obviously not knowing what was to transpire for them, for us, in the whole world the following year. Despite the challenges that this class faced over the past two years, they not only made a huge positive mark on the school, but also on me. I'm going to miss them a lot. COVID presented many challenges and disappointments, but one of the hardest things I've ever had to do as a principal, and not just once, was postpone a game, a big event, just moments before it was about to take place. These were the things you were all excited about. Moments that enriched the high school experience and moments that I truly cherish as your principal. Having to walk in and tell you the game wasn't going to happen just minutes before you were set to take the field or the court or have a performance, an event, was simply a no-go crushed me, but it was your reaction to my delivering this disappointing news that truly floored me. It's something I will carry forever. When I wanted to scream, and probably would have when I was your age, you showed your incredible character, resolve, and acceptance of the news with grit and grace. No one screamed and carried on. 
you accepted the disappointment with measure. And when that game and that event finally happened, you and the herd were more than ready for it, and you made the most of it. The class of 2022 is a standout. I won't do this justice, but just consider some of the amazing accomplishments achieved during this trying of times. 17 National Merit semifinalists, one National Merit finalist, 106 seniors awarded scholarships, the most ever in school history. These scholarships are beyond what many will be awarded by their colleges and post-secondary career programs. This class was given over $40,000. And speaking of senior awards night, you have to love the passion of Mr. Ron Longo brought during his presentation. And remember his message. If you want to be wealthy, stay healthy. Thank you, Mr. Longo, for your generosity and support. Our robotics team competed at the World Championships. Yes, the World Championships. DECA competed at nationals. Other clubs and activities rose to the top in their field in the state of New Jersey. Athletic teams thrived in Mercer County at the state level. Multiple athletes have been identified as the very best in New Jersey. Teams made states, did well in CVCs. Our marching band competed at the highest level at states and brought home numerous awards. Our theater arts programs pulled off wildly successful shows and concert, despite many challenges, truly epitomizing the saying, the show must go on. All these have been well documented, but there's so many other examples that show the true character of the class of 2022. The class not only welcomed three foreign exchange students into our school, despite growing a world apart from the class that made them part of the herd. While these three exchange students are not earning their degrees today, they embody what it means to be a RAM. Resilient, aspiring, and mindful. And as we all know, once a RAM, always a RAM. Class of 22, I don't think you'll mind giving a round of applause to Edgar, Eugene, and Gabriella. Please stand and be recognized. Yes, the class of 2022 is a standout for sure. But you're also a class that shows up. They show up for each other. They come and cheer each other on at all our events. They show up for the community, volunteering their time and talents to give back. Time and time again, they showed up and made the most of what was offered at Heights Sound High School, in and out of the classroom, with some of our participation numbers higher than they've ever been. I personally want to thank you for showing up for one another. The last two years have been exhausting and frustrating for us all. And no question, COVID presented some of the most greatest challenges I've ever faced professionally over my 25 years in education. Many wanted more, and we were limited to what we could do. I want you to know we wanted to give you everything. Despite the balancing act we had to perform, this class, class helped make it easier to continue to show up. They always showed up. The way they responded to the adversity was no doubt an inspiration to me. My hope for this class is that you will continue to show up and you will be the leaders in your families, workforces, and your community. And equally, be the people that others want to show up for. I read a great quote the other day. The true value of a leader is not measured by the work they do. A true leader measure is valued by the work they inspire others to do. Class of 2022, you have inspired me, your teachers, classmates, and younger students at HHS. As you leave this arena, continue on the next phase in your life and to continue to do the same. That is a life well lived. Thank you and God bless you guys. I'd like to introduce the president of the class of 2022, Marie Torres Alvarez. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Vinson. Good morning, staff, faculty, friends, families, and class of 2022 graduates. To those of you who don't know me, I'm Maria Torres Alvarez, and I'm the senior class president. 
Graduates, after years of eagerly rushing to become adults and wanted to have our own independence, we are finally here, surrounded by friends, families, and our loved ones, marking an end to our high school years. About a week ago today, I was very excited to be up here, confident with the speech I had written. However, the universe had other plans. Last week, on June 9th, my family and I were hit with the heartbreaking news that my grandpa passed away. I didn't know whether I would be able to be up here and confidently give this speech, but I'm using this as a reminder that life is very short and very unexpected. We have to keep pushing no matter what obstacles are thrown at us, so let this day be a lesson to celebrate life. This is all for you, Abuelito, and for all of our loved ones that we wish were here cheering us on as we walked across this field. Although they aren't physically with us today, they're so proud of each and every single one of our accomplishments. As cliche as it sounds, freshman year feels like it was just yesterday. I can clearly remember riding the bus to high school orientation listening to the seniors explain how the schedule works and what days we have what classes. I recall thinking it was going to be impossible to remember my schedule and I would never figure out how to get to class. But here we are now, with not only my schedule memorized, but my friends' schedules, as well as the whole map of the school and the special spots where we meet and then get yelled at by security for not going to class. The point is, today we're doing something that felt like it was an eternity away, just four short years and 1,378 days ago. And that's exactly what life is, accomplishing the things that seemed impossible. We've all grown these past four years, some more physically than others. <laughs> Don't be fooled, I am wearing heels. Without them, I still can barely reach this mic but we've all grown mentally and emotionally. As we now prepare for the next chapter in our lives, I do have some great news for you. The future is totally up to you. With that though comes the terrifying news that the future is totally up to you. Now is the time that we each get to decide what we want to do next and how exactly we want to get there. Time waits for no one. So right now is the time to live, to go skydiving, to tell that special person you love them, hug all your loved ones so tight, and take that life-changing risk. Everything has an expiration date, and although it might be easier said than done, there's a whole world out there begging to be explored. We all know that sometimes life is very hard, and it only does get harder. We have to keep pushing, waking up every day with a great mindset to do great things. We made it through high school during a global pandemic, so I'm confident that we can do so much more. The struggles and hardship we have faced will not haunt us forever. It's all temporary, something we need to experience in order to come out more resilient, stronger, and prepared to, many, to face the many obstacles thrown at us. As a PGC leader and class council president, I have grown a lot and learned many valuable lessons throughout the year. Something that has recently stuck with me is the final stage of saying goodbye, the morning to morning stage we call it. It significantly relates to where we are right now. Morning is a sense of feeling the grief that comes with saying goodbye, and morning is looking for a better day tomorrow, from an ending to a new beginning. For some of you, today is the happiest day of your life. You're excited to close this HHS chapter and never look back. However, today is a very hard day for me. As happy as I am to be done with a year of physics, I'm beyond sad to say goodbye to these hallways that have watched us all grow up. No more meeting after classes with friends, no more pep rallies, no more school dances, or any of the little moments that made high school so special. No more seeing our favorite juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. No more watching our favorite teachers, <coughs> Mr. Blunt, breaking it down at senior events. Shout out to you for raising us these past seven years, Mr. Blunt. No more coming together during sports events with the High Sound Herd who made us all feel so included. 
But as Dr. Seuss has once said, let's not cry because it's over. Let's smile because it happened. Let's celebrate the fact that we've gone through 100% of our hard days and that we're all here ready to step into the next stages of our lives. Thank you, Mr. Camps and Ms. Biondi for giving me this very new perspective and for reminding me to celebrate not only the big moments, but the small one as well, because every victory is worth recognizing. I also want to thank the rest of the staff, staff and faculty. These diplomas are not only ours, but all of yours as well. We're thankful for the amount of time and effort that you have put to helping us prepare for our future. Thank you for the early mornings and the late afternoons, all of that so we continue to succeed. Now, thank you, grandparents, parents, guardians, and siblings, for everything that you've done to give us one in each of every graduates. I not only admire my family, but all of yours as well, because you've all done this scary thing called life, and so far, you've gotten us through it all. Despite the hard days, each and every single one of us are here on this field about to shake Mr. Vincent's hand and accomplish something that we'll never forget. It really does take a village to raise a child, and Heightstown has come together to do just that. Gracias a todos ustedes, a todas las familias que han certificado su todo, todos ustedes que han llegado aquí con nada y han hecho millones de sacrificios para darnos todo. Gracias por sus sacrificios y por todo el apoyo con nuestras metas y nuestros sueños. Sus esfuerzos, amor y trabajo nunca será desapreciado. Now, I know you guys are getting a little anxious, but before I give my final goodbye, I wanted to do something special. I'm sure most of you guys have heard the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. So, I thought I'd take this moment to take a final picture with you guys. So class of 2022, join me in capturing this great memory. Please give a big smile and say cheese. <laughs> Sorry, now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Friends, try to be kind to everyone you cross paths with because life is just too short not to. And you don't know what kind of demons everyone's fighting behind closed doors. Remember that nothing lasts forever. So hold on tight to the things that make you happy and let go of the things that don't. Appreciate life's little moments because it's way too easy to get caught up in the here and now and forget about the future and forget and celebrate the small victories because it's way too easy to forget that life is a precious gift that's not given to all. 1,378 days ago, we walked into Heightstown High School, but today on June 17, 2022, we sure are not the same people walking out. Keep changing, keep growing, and keep being the best versions of yourself. I wish you all the absolute best. I know you all have the full potential to do amazing things, so please remember that when life gets hard. And for the last time, I'm Maria Torres Alvarez, your senior class president, and it's been such a pleasure. Congratulations, class of 2022. We did it. I'd like to introduce our faculty member speaker this year, Mr. Jermaine Blunt. Hello, class of 2022. Hello, class of 2022. It's truly an honor and a privilege to be standing before you today. It seems like yesterday. Just seven years ago, you entered middle school. I recall sending you a welcoming letter. That letter said, we look forward to seeing you grow, learn, and explore the many academic and extracurricular activities available to you. I encourage each and every one of you to get involved within our school community and create memories
for a lifetime. Well, today, I can say you did just that. You created amazing memories, amazing memories that you will remember for a lifetime. Our robotics team, our DECA team, our band, Business Leaders of America, the, all the 40 clubs and activities that we have, you got involved just by the raise of hand. If you participated in any activity, any sport, or any club, just raise your hands. Raise your hand if you, give them a round of applause, please. In spite of, you got involved. You made the best of a challenging situation. Why? Because the class of 22, you believe in the power of an idea. An idea that can change your perspective, an idea that can change your mindset, an idea that can change the world. The power of an idea. With your talent as a class, you will solve some of the world's greatest problems, diseases, issues in politics, engineering, the environment, and world peace. From Heistown High School, there's no doubt that you will develop the next greatest ideas in the laboratories, on Capitol Hill, on Wall Street, that will improve all of our lives. That's because you understand the power of an idea. It's an acronym. The I stands for the power of intention. The D is for diversity of thought. The E is the pursuit of excellence. And the A is the courage to be accountable. Back in middle school, you remember our themes were set out and grow, step up and achieve, and stand proud and lead. These words were implanted in you and they were nourished by your teachers, by your parents, counselors, and administrators. We saw them implanted in middle school and sprouted in high school. But it's a news, news flash. Those weren't just themes. They were seeds implanted that continue to blossom and will continue to blossom for the rest of your life. Those are words to live by, to reflect on, and to use as a guide. So I say to you again today, set out and grow. Step up and achieve in your future endeavors. And wherever you go and whatever you do, stand proud and lead. Your voice and your leadership will inspire, will engage, and pave the way into our future. In high school, you embodied resilient, aspiring, and mindful. But I want to leave you with a quote. Where your mind, your mind will adjust where your heart wants to go. I'm going to say that one more time. Your mind will adjust where your heart wants to go. The power of intention got you here. Now use it for wherever you want to go. Very quickly, the D is diversity of thought. It's amazing to see your diversity and your humanity in our school. Each group has their own uniqueness. And as you travel, you might find that all places are not as diverse as Highstown High School. But don't let anyone underestimate you. Remember your sense of belonging, maintain your determination and your perseverance, and remember the power of diversity. The E, again, is the pursuit of excellence. You pursued excellence, you've won local, state, regional, and national awards. And the A is the courage to be accountable. Remember the life stories and the words of wisdom of your parents and your loved ones you see back here. They will serve you well into the future. Last but not least, adapt to wherever you go. Because we saw you adapt here in high school, get through the pandemic, be role models. And this is not a goodbye, everybody. It's a see you later. I hope you have enjoyed your time. But 
You've learned the lessons at this stage. You are now ready for the next step. You are now ready to pursue your endeavors. You are now ready to pursue your dreams. You are now ready to make your mark beyond our school doors. Follow your heart, the thing that's important to you. That's your compass. That's your inner GPS. You are ready to soar like an eagle because the world is awaiting your positive mindset. The world is awaiting your talent. The world is awaiting your intellect. The world is awaiting your character. Class of 22, it is time to soar. You are stronger than what you think, more talented than what you know, and capable of more than what you can imagine. So in the words of Pharrell Williams, in all you do, be happy, happy, happy. You've been gifted with the power of an idea. We love you, I salute you, and best wishes. Class of 22. At this time, I invite Mr. Daniels to the podium as we certify the class. Mr. Daniels, I hereby certify that the members of the Heights Sound High School class of 2022 have met all the requirements for graduation for high school as specified by the New Jersey Department of Education. Mr. Daniels, I present to you the class of 2022. Thank you, Mr. Vincent. So good morning, family, friends, faculty, administration, members of the Board of Education, and most importantly, the very resilient Heistown High School class of 2022. My name is Mark Daniels, and it is my pleasure and privilege to serve as the very proud and appreciative superintendent of schools for the East Windsor Regional School District. Today, I am grateful that we have the opportunity to gather at the Trenton Thunder Ballpark, or however it's a little, little warm, on a beautiful day in June, to collectively celebrate and recognize the significant milestone that this graduation ceremony represents. Today serves as a much needed and joyous conclusion to a year that resembled a move towards greater normalcy, but still contains some of the challenges related to COVID-19. On this very special day, I need to take a moment to express my respect and admiration to some of the individuals who have contributed to making this moment possible. This includes Mr. Vincent and the high school's administrative team for their commitment to the health and safety of our students and staff in an effort to ensure the conditions for teaching and learning were established and maintained this year. A huge thank you is extended to the caring and dedicated teachers and staff at Heistown High School and across the school district who have been instrumental in educating and cultivating the academic and social emotional development of this year's graduates. I also need to applaud and extend sincere gratitude to the very supportive parents and family members of our graduates. Thank you for your valued partnership and for providing the strong foundation and constant guidance that has enabled your child to navigate the educational journey. Today would not be possible without your unconditional love. As we can all acknowledge, the past two years have been a unique and ongoing learning experience for all of us. The class of 2022 were sophomores when their high school experiences were abruptly interrupted by COVID in March 2020. This required students to rapidly enhance and modify their time management, organizational, and communication skills. Furthermore, the significant challenges resulting from a global pandemic have elevated the need for strong character, patience, determination, and resilience. I have continued to be inspired by our students' flexibility, creativity, and the ability to overcome adversity. The class of 2022 truly serves as a model of grit and perseverance. Throughout all the twists and turns from the past two years, our district, through the support of our Board of Education, has worked diligently and remain focused on placing the needs of students at the forefront of our decision making. The past two years have illustrated the impact of our collective efforts and that we are truly stronger as a community 
when we work together. To the very impressive class of 2022, I think I can confidently reaffirm the sentiment and feelings of your family and teachers when I express how extremely proud we are of you. Today marks the conclusion of your educational journey within the East Windsor Regional School District and the beginning of new, adventurous, and unwritten chapter in your lives. Whether you are transitioning to college, the military, or the workforce, your time as a student at Heistown High School has provided you with a collection of meaningful learning experiences and relationships that will certainly serve as a firm foundation for a productive and fulfilling future. In looking forward for today, I took a moment to briefly review the school district's mission and belief statement, which includes some uh, expected outcomes for students. I thought it would be appropriate as we're celebrating your conclusion here. I'll highlight a few. The mission just talks about as a school district, we will support our students in terms of strengthening academic, social, and emotional skills uh, in order for them to be productive and successful citizens. We also talk about focusing on achievement by challenging and supporting each student to reach his or her highest potential. We also promise to focus on the whole child by ensuring the students feel healthy, safe, engaged, and supported with an emphasis on social-emotional development. And we also want to make sure that we try to prepare our students with the skills and awareness necessary to actively contribute as productive local and global citizens. Seniors, despite dealing with a series of obstacles that were beyond your control during the past two years, I'm confident and also very hopeful that your time as a student in the East Windsor Regional School District has provided you with the tools, preparation, and support necessary to become contributing and productive adults in society. As you prepare to leave the district and take another step towards adulthood, I offer you some simple, sincere, but hopefully meaningful advice. Love and appreciate your family. As you become adults, their unconditional affection, compassion, and support will continue to serve as a source of strength, comfort, and inspiration. Always remember to express gratitude and thank the people who have played a role in your journey leading up to today, tomorrow, and 30 years from now. I also encourage you to find and pursue your passion. Trust your instincts and believe in yourselves. Make sure you establish a plan, exercise self-discipline, and work diligently to bring your plan to fruition. However, do not be surprised or discouraged if this requires you to make several revisions to your plan. No matter your pathway, you should be prepared to put in the work to achieve your goals. Take the time to help and support others. And remember the importance of treating everyone you meet with dignity and respect. Be open to listening to different and sometimes opposing viewpoints and perspectives. Excuse me. This will enable you to see things from multiple angles, hear both sides of an opinion or a story before determining your own conclusion. And finally, embrace the importance of compassion by recognizing and accepting our shared humanity so that we can treat ourselves and others with loving kindness and take action in the face of suffering. So class of 2022, I am confident that you all possess the character, compassion, curiosity, and diligence to find fulfillment and positively influence our local, national, and global community. As an educator with almost 30 years of experience and a parent of three, I will join the caring adults in your lives who have and will continue to offer words of encouragement and support as you embrace this significant milestone. Congratulations again. You all have such bright futures ahead, and I will be rooting for each and every one of you as you embark on this exciting new journey. The world awaits the impact of Heistown High School's class of 2022. Thank you.
I would like to invite my colleagues to the stage for the presentation of diplomas to the officers of the class of 2022 and the 2022 Student Council officers. I would also like to invite HHS staff members who will be presenting diplomas to family members and class officers. Faculty, please come to the podium if you're presenting. Over there. Yeah, over there. You go over there. Over here, over here. Oops. Clean. Maria, right there. <laughs> Class President Maria Belen Torres Alvarez, conferred by Miss Anessa Vaccaro. Class Vice President, Sydney Claire Eber, conferred by Miss Anessa Vaccaro. Class Vice President, Anna Sofia Mervica, conferred by Miss Anessa Vaccaro. Class Vice President, Joseph Peter Lenzo, conferred by Mr. George Wolkowitz. Class Vice President, Lara Elizabeth Coppell, conferred by Mr. Justin Bauman. Student Council President, Perry Renee Luther, conferred by Mr. Jeffrey Drake. Student Council Director, Darsh J. Mehta, conferred by Mr. David DeLisi. <laughs> Student Council Director, Daniel Herbert Sassone, conferred by Dr. Thomas Malone. Student Council Board of Ed Rep, Policy Liaison, Anissa Trisha Singh, conferred by Mr. Jeffrey Drake. <laughs> Student Council Board of Ed Rep, Policy Liaison, Gabriella McKenzie Strepik, conferred by Ms. Emma Fanning. Aaron Winzinger, conferred by Mr. Dennis Vinson. Please welcome to the podium 2022 Class Officer Sydney Claire Eber, who will begin the reading of our graduate names. Brianna Anayeli Abad Matu. Julian Buchleton Abano. Okay. Sarah Ray Abrascado. Edward Jaher Abrunilo. Tovena Frank Achebe. Treasure Brenda Marie Acosta. Emily Irasima Acosta Leal. Jay Adams. Kevin Kurt Agurto Kaki. Jeffrey Ni Akui Gebi. Raylan J. Alexis. Razan Purnell Alford. 
Victoria Alimpajevic. <laughs> Teresa Gail Allison. <laughs> Brian Lee Alvarez. <laughs> Tanya Alvarez. <laughs> Michael Alexander Andrade. <laughs> Tatiana Jasmine Andrade Gal Galarza. Steven Mateo Araujo Venueza. Druba Vinod Arekar. I would love I would now like to introduce President Maria Torres, who will continue reading the names. Andrea Belen Aravalo Kishbi. Hussein Irfan Adarwala. Matthew Hagab Auker. Carla Gabriela Baez Garcia. Marco Nabil Baba. Angie Annabelle Balbuena Ventura. Camille Denise Bassi. Khalil Andre Das Bassi. Jordan Lynn Batista, Abigail Rose Bell, Isabella Diana Benitez, Daniel Bernard Vincent Robert Bibbins, Gabriela Jade Brown, Sia Sandre Budadev, Alexis Alexander Buisson Pacho, Odin Edward Burke, Sana Reed Borsaj, Sydney Lauren Busa, Kenny Lennon Busamante. I will now pass it over to Anna Mervica to continue the names. Christian Ismael Caldas Molina, Isabella Paige Camerata. Dirk Malachi Campbell. Marissa Lynn Caniano. Ronald Paul Canizares Velez. Nicholas Thomas Cardoso. Diego Alexander Carpio. Justin Giovanni Carreno Bermio. Sebastian Carrillo. Shania Aureliz Castillo. Estuardo Jose Castillo Fuentes. Vidi Chalani. Najee Rashan Chambers. Arjun Chandramuli. Dhruv Chowdhury. Druvi Chowdhury. Tiana Tiara Chu Thomas. Melanie Estrella Chicon Vergara. Wei Lin Chow. Daryl Chu. I'll now pass off to Joseph Lenzo to continue reading the names. Mary Jane Sifuentes. Angie Melissa Clavijo. Johnny Fabian Conchancella Fernandez. Chanel Coco. Frank Gregory Kalila. Emmanuel Kalina. Sherilyn Luz Coyaguazo Reyes. James Robert Colton. Brandon Caesar Concha. Sebastian Jose Contreras. Emily Klingler Coyle. Ethan Angel Crisanto. Danielle Alexandra Cruz. Anch Hathel Dahlia. 
Oscar Julian Davila Contreras. Orhanis Rafael Dazarangel. Sarah Emily Dipkowski. Christopher David Delabovi. Joseph Tyler Delabovi. Catherine Paige DeMarco. Now I will hand it off to Larry Capel to continue reading the names. Alexandra Nicole Desiderio. Brandon Paul Deutsch. Rhea Deer. Elizabeth Vivian DiGio. Bryn Taylor Dom. Christopher Joseph Drews. Luigi Rainier Duran Useche. Jacqueline Mason Eldridge. Kelsey Dolores Emsley. Catherine Quinn Elizabeth Englum. David Ernst. Ava Veronica Farish. Chilau Eli Phi. Nevada Fish. Liam David Fisher. Jalen Grace Flagg. Justin Patrick Ford. Drew Thomas Forrester. Kyle Marshall Forrester. Isabella Rose Fowler. I will now pass it on to Sydney Ebert to continue reading the names. Nicholas Martin Francis. Ryan Sven Freiheit. Madison Elizabeth Franzi. David Wesley Fultz. Saray Anna Noel Gabriel. Gabriel David Galliano Lobos. Geraldi Gallardo Dardone. Anais Dayanara Gallegos. Bridget Dayanara Gayona Velazaka. Yanisel Garcia Martinez. Agnes Kona Masa Bondo. Rakaya Mukhtar Goslatwala. Miranda Jean Balai. Alejandro James Gonzalez Palmer. Najeli Granda Bonilla. Alicia Rose Greenstein. Anthony Josue Guaman Bermillo. Johnny Mateo Guaman Ordonez. Manbir Singh Guron. Alex Elizabeth Guzman. James Henry Hall. Brandon Matthew Hansen. Chloe Nicole Harkins. Olivia Elaine Harkins. Melissa Bari Hemel. Alexander James Herb. Jimena Hernandez Olmedo. Jalen Michelle Houston. Taylor Madison Haddup. Aiden Patrick Hogan. Kara Gail Horning. Lewis James Hosleter. 
Shannon Hootenville. How? Courtney Elizabeth Humphrey. Tanner Lee Crockett Hutchinson. Amkar Chapani Ear. Arushi Jane. Giselle, Giselle Margarita Jaramillo. Miriam Salome Jaramillo. Sabrina Giselle Jaramillo Pulgarin. Lawrence Niel Jefferson. Tyler Rennell Jerome. Crystal Sabina Jimenez. Avery Kareen Johnson. Chayton Kailash Joshi. Devin Ryan Justice. Natalia Kaxmerick. Lolia Kalata Halliday. Sean Anthony Kane. Pratik Singh Kang. Deepak Kanan. Tyler Benjamin Katzoff. Jason Allen June Keller. Jacob Philip Kochberg. Tyler James Kerner. Rhea Corday. Michael Drew Katofsky. Mackenzie Alexis Kowardi. Ren Krieger. Christopher Paul Krawenko Real. Noah Cooper Tavishis. Manya Kumar. Jonna Elise Lance. Catherine Jasmine Larios Morales. Amanda Jean LaRosa. Nancy Beatrice Lazo Lazo. Evan Mitchell Lesser. Rena Sima Levitt. Darian Deanna Lewis. Jackson Joseph Lohaus. Diana Belen Loha. Ashley Elizabeth Lopez. Jeremy Eduardo Lopez. Nelson Abraham Lopez. Christopher Jacob Louderback. Trinity Cambridge Lubiak. Joanna Fanelli Lujan Vasquez. Brian Ronaldo Makasuan. Nicholas Venayak Machin. Rebecca Dana Magueros. Elizabeth Louise Mahler. Simran Hiran Malkin. Megan Trinity Suriga Manangan. Jenna Elizabeth Mao. Alexander Eduardo Marin. Brian Emmanuel Marin. Eric Ruben Martinez. Gabriel Eduardo Martinez Marieres. Lillian Marie Mason. Adrian Celso Matamoro Suarez. Kate Claudia Matinsky. Skylar May Maznet. Victoria Rose Maznet. Curtis Christopher McLeish. Julia Rose McDade. 
Nathaniel Hunter McGinnis. Carly Rose McKenna. Kanila Monet Leslie McMillan. Melanie Alexandra Medina Morales. Jordan Elizabeth Reese McGee. Oh, wait, not yet. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Jordan Elizabeth Reese McGee. Samantha Ann Reese McGee. Jessica Marie Meadoff. Robinson Alexander Melendez Furman. Nicolette Rihanna Mendez. Williams Francisco Mendez. Anahi Menendez. Christian Peter Menendez Bayona. Amira Noemi Marino. Brianna Catherine Miller. McKenna Nicole Miller. Brittany Kelsey Minchala Pilajo. Jonathan Brayon Miranda Castro. Megan Amelia Molinelli. Anthony Daniel Montalesa. Lisbeth Del Cisne Montero Crespo. Sergio Eduardo Masoco, Moscoso. Brian Jonathan Munoz. Sandra Pola Munoz Garcia. Logan Riley Munson. Vinithy Reddy Muthiala. Ashrita Nair. Kula Shaker Nanduri. Amy Lisbeth Nalaguari. Sarar Sivakumar Nilagmagan. Sorry. Hector Jean Pierre Nugra Naguera. Liam Robert O'Donnell. Colin Joseph O'Leary. Sherlyn Hittery Obispo Chinchai. Divine Ogundario. Finn Ogunsola. Opemipo Tulawani Oladeji. Jack Thomas Olson. Gloria Olucaton. Aaron John Ordonez. Eric Fernando Ordonez. Jaime Eduardo Ordonez Navos. Catherine Joanna Ordonez Pino. Carlos Santiago Ortiz Ceballos. Marco Sebastian Palacios. Jake Matthew Pandina. Samita Sridhar Pandit. Whitney Elizabeth Pando. Siraj Panicker. 
Kevin Thomas Parker, John V. Ashokumar Patel, Karm Ketan Patel, Mateel Patel, Rohan Chinmay Patel, Sharad Kumar Pinakinbai Patel, Vidi Patel, Vivek Patel, Yogi Parthiv Kumar Patel, Jillian Patricolo, Jaden Naeem Pearson, Mark Stefan Penafiel, David German Penaloza, Gladys Jimena Penaloza Romero, Janelise Perez, Larice Mimi Perez, Matthew Christopher Perez, Angie Dianara Perez Puya, Ivan Alexandrovis Pesochin, Lane Sidney Peterson. Kevin Nicholas Pintado. Andy Pintado Marine. Sean Christopher Poli. Emily Ann Poulter. Deborah Salome Pucha. Lily Rose Puskar. Joshua Kobina Quenu. Marco Daniel Quesada Toledo. Michelle Maria Kinde Peralta. Jonathan Christopher Kinde Sacasella. Mark Anthony Cantuna. Emma Elizabeth Rafkin. Sarah Rajan. Abiram Ramachandran. Matthew Adam Rambo. Danielle Armando Ramirez Lorenzo. Pushti Jitendra Rana. Yogi Ganshyam Radhanpara. Arav Raval. Vanessa Natalie Reno Vivar. Logan Richard Reesboard. Brandon Reyes German. Dulce Maria Reyes Jerome. Daniel Israel Rios. Alexis Sebastian Rivas Bonilla. Steven Rivera. Roberto Carlos Rizzo Mejia. Rachel Robles Aravalo. Nicholas Jose Rodriguez. William Rodriguez. Henry Jonathan Rodriguez Limos. Shyla Johanna Rodriguez Rizzo. Aiden James Rogers. Henry Steven Rojas Silva. Nelson Eugenio Robin Cabrera. Sean Chris Anthony Rowe Morris. Courtney Elizabeth Sabigal. Isabella Sabigal. Amy, Amy Chantel Ceteros Montaleza. Douglas Renato Salazar. Nicholas Salazar Escobar. 
Matthew Jonathan Salter. John Lennon Semaniego. Sachi Samdani. Ryan Kevin Sanchez. Yelena Maria per Pereira Sanchez. Daniela Sanchez Avila. Danny Joel Sandoval Vivar. James David Sandoval Vivar. Evelyn Gabriela Sandoya Alvarez. Esvin Ivan Santizo Mendez. Juliana Rose Santoro. Yvette Estefania Sakisela Robles. Hannah Dorothy Sargent. Dylan McCarthy Schenlinger. Jillian Alice Schneider. Jordan Vincenza Rose Schweitzer. Nicholas Theodore Seminario. Fazal Sheikh. Shivani Shankar. Justin Frank Shaw. <laughs> Naomi Dayton Shaw. Victoria Ashley Shaw. Jordan Elias Shropshire Sands. Sasha Schwartzman. Justin Anthony Siguenza. Stephanie Silva Panjon. Luis Isaias Simbaina Bonilla. Prerna Singh. Akul Solanke. Christopher Israel Solis. Faith Lewis Solar. Chase Jillian Sosa. Salvatore Frank Spinelli. Christopher Stavro. Sophia Maria Stiliano. Aksha Subramanian. Srina Tushar Sukadia. Natalie Michelle Sukio. David Alexander Suzinski. Gabriella Michelle Sutera. Mariana Tabawada. Sianja Nicole Tabora. Jocelyn Lisseth Takuri Pilko. Danny Alexander Takuri Seguai. Katie Gabriella Tapia Mora. Jesse Thomas Teller. Brian Eugenio Tenisaka. Abdul Rahman Terry. Rahil Osman Theba. Kristen Thomas. Aubrey Malachi Hope Thompson. Isaiah Gabriel Thornton. Brianna Sarah Titus. Kelly Isabel Tobey Chuya. Arjun Tomar. Hector Andres Torres. Kaylee Grace Totka. Lisbeth Uguna. Krishna Tej Vadlamani. Brooke Elizabeth Vagran. Alexandra Valentina Valera Angola. William Alexander Valera Angola. Melissa Joanna Vierde Tobe. Amelia Dominica Vallejos Briones. Naomi Ann Valaya. 
Karina Lisbeth Vasquez. Brandon Steve Vasquez Rivera. Ashwarya Priyanka Velagapudi. Brian Adrian Velasquez Mon. Steven Alexander Velasella. Trevor Scott Venatelli. Nathaniel Paul Ventura. Jonathan Vialta Morales. Kai Jaden Vista. Mark David Virar Morocho. J. Isaiah Manuel Blake Walker. Kelby Rose Warner. Madeline June Waters. Daniel Joseph Wershing. Gabrielle Alexis Wilburn. Matthew Nazar William. Aaron Alexander Winsinger. Emil Wong. Ashlyn Yang. Jack Robinson Yenza. May Yin Ko. Denny Yun. Justin Alexander Younga Tobey. Ella May Zafris. Ashley Janice Savala Reyes. Christina Marie Zalaki. Kara Lynn Zimmer. Mike Zumba. Congratulations, class of 2022! 